afternoon to Three Sisters Knit podcast. This is episode 32. Oh, 32. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sheila. Uh, I'm Shishi62 on Ravelry. And I'm Margaret and I'm Magpie60 on Ravelry. Yes. So. We also have, um, I'm, we're also on Periscope and we have a Facebook page and we have a Ravelry group mm -hmm. and Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, now, I think mostly we use Instagram. So mm -hmm. if you want to find us there, see what we're talking about as we're working on it, um, yeah. Yeah, that's the best place to go. Yeah, and um, send a message to us there. You'll probably get us quicker. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, anyways, we haven't podcasted in about three weeks. Yes. Um, she, our usual podcast time, Sheila... Would, would have been went, last week. Would have been last week. And Sheila and her family headed down to Oklahoma in the mm -hmm. United States and uh, to attend a family wedding. Yes. And it looked like it was lovely. I've seen a bunch of photos. Yes. So it, it looked was like wonderful. it was really lovely. It was really, really nice. Yeah. My niece was getting married. Um, and it was just, it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. There. And uh, the wedding went off really well. My niece looked mm -hmm. just stunning. Yeah. She, she looked just beautiful. Stunning. I mean, she's such a beautiful girl to begin yes. with. But yes. But she was a beautiful bride. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Absolutely made a beautiful bride. So yeah. we just had so much fun. But I couldn't believe the wedding ended by 1030. Oh. The reception? The reception ended by 1030. Oh. It ended <laughs> so early. Like, we're our weddings don't end until 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Like, bar closes between midnight and 1. Yeah. And then the family almost, like, the rest of the family kind of stays around and cleans up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Helps clean up some of the stuff yeah. around. Yeah. Yeah. And even so, it's usually, yeah, it's yeah. generally really quiet. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, goes on yeah. for a while. <laughs> so we were like, 1030. Are you kidding me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Oh, but well. yeah, that's what they did. Everybody went back to um, her mom and dad's uh, room at the inn that yeah. they were in because they rented the whole inn. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah. So that was all taken up. And then there was a couple of cottages that people were at as well. Oh, nice. And the property there. Beautiful, beautiful property. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It was just absolutely stunning. It was wonderful yeah. just yeah. so much it was just everything turned out the weather was perfect apparently october is the wedding time down in tulsa oh, okay because it's so hot mm. and it was like 75 to 80 oh, i know so nice and they so closed nice. their pools it's not time they're saying we're like are you kidding we're canadian this weather is it's, swimming weather yes this is weather. <laughs> yeah definitely yeah. <laughs> But the pools were closed. Oh we, were, we were in shock. <laughs> we wanted to go for a swim with the weather being so nice. Yeah. No, that didn't happen. <laughs> a little oh. disappointing. But. So um, we both have, um, I have a one whip yep. and I have one FO. I have um, a whip. I've always got whips, but I've yeah. got a new one <laughs> that I just started. Yeah. And I have an FO and I have some... Um, some new to us. Yes. Because, of course, I shopped when I was down in Tulsa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so why don't you, since you're wearing your FO, yes, why don't you talk about that? This is my FO. This is so beautiful. Ta-da. This mm -hmm. is, I'm wearing this to rhyme back. Mm -hmm. This is, this is what is called the Blizzard Wrap. Yeah. And this is the magazine that it's in. Creative Knitting. And... And it's from uh, October 2014, so it's three years ago. Uh, and that's, the, it's just, I forget where I even got yeah. it from. I think but you gave it to me. But you were saying that the pattern actually calls for a, it calls a, a for chunky knit? A chunky, it calls actually for it super bulky. Super or bulky. A, or a six, you know, some of them, see there's the, yeah. if I can get the code on, right up there, see? Yeah. Yeah, six. Six. Uh, uh, that is what it calls for. I didn't have that. I made mine out of worsted weight yarn, mm -hmm. but I doubled it. Held I, double. I held it double. And this, actually, I dyed the yarn. Yeah. I'm going to take the pin off. Yeah. This is what I'll be wearing at Rhinebeck. So if you see, you will see me. This is what I'll be wearing. Yeah. Be over my jacket. I dyed the yarn. Mm -hmm. with, with my friend Amanda the yarn enabler and look you can see how tonal everything is we had so much fun yeah doing this we so wanted something gorgeous, this color so I know it's just so stunning it's beautiful I just wanted a really rich deep pink
pink. Yeah. I no, didn't you want adapted to be... the pattern, I think. You I added some... Um... I adapted the pattern. It mm. actually, the way the pattern goes, when you see it, it's just... Let me show the front page. It doesn't matter. When you see it, it's just like garter on either side, and then it goes right into that. I don't know, maybe because I even using the worsted weight double, it still wasn't quite... It was bulky, but it wasn't super bulky yeah. yarn. So what I did was I actually put a reverse stockinette on either side of the cable because I think it helped the cable stand out more. Yeah. It really pops so, nicely. So that's what I did. I I just I did that just to help the cable pop more because I felt that it blended in when I was knitting it, it blended in too much mm -hmm. with the with the um the garter edging. Yeah, it, it pops beautifully actually. It does. It looks I'm really, really it. nice. Yeah. So and even the back doesn't look too too bad. It looks very rather interesting. Oh it you does. You could almost wear it both ways. Yeah. So great. Yes, yeah, so that's my whip. Or my, my ho, your F my F O. I finished that, so I'm quite happy with that. So my F O is my um, socks, my Rose City roller socks. Actually, why don't you hold it? Because I'll hold it. I, against me, it, it, you can't, you can't see, it. see it. But this is I'm wearing gray, so you can see yes. it nicely today. <laughs> so this is uh, the second pair. This is the second sock. So I got both socks done. I'm really happy. This is. Uh, leftover from the um, oh I, I made the, the just the plain sock the yes. vanilla sock um, and so I had enough leftover mm -hmm. used a nice pink on the toes yep. and then a little bit of a, on the cuff so I'm really happy with how those I turned am. out. I think it turned out really nicely yeah. how the pink and that color really yeah. works well together. And like when I made the, the regular length sock mm -hmm. using the yellow, it looked really good too. Yes, so, it did. Yeah. That gold really, it was a nice goldy, goldy yellow. yellow. It looked yeah. really, really nice. So it's, yeah. I'm really they happy turned with out it. so nice. Yeah. So that was... How do they feel on? They feel really nice. I know. <laughs> I actually, you know, last week was so warm um, mm -hmm. there was a day I was saying to my husband, actually, even, um, early this week, it was quite nice. But I said to my husband yesterday, you know, the other day I was wearing linen pants and a tank top. And today I'm all like, I've got a long sleeve Woolly. t shirt and a wool pullover yep. and a scarf mm -hmm. and jeans mm -hmm. and socks, but I wasn't wearing socks last week. No. But I finished them, I put them on, and I thought, oh, these are really nice, and then I took them right off because yeah. it was so nice and warm, I was going outside barefoot. I know. My whole time when I was in Oklahoma, I wore sandals unless I was going major, like, majorly walking places, yeah. and yeah. then I put my running shoes on. Yeah. So, because I didn't so. even bring jeans with me. Yeah. I, I know. I had, it, like, d traveling in the car, it's 22 hours in the car. Mm -hmm. Not on all at trip. once. No, we did 11 hours one day and 11 hours the next day. Oof. And we had my mother-in-law and my husband's aunt in the car with us. So we were stopping every couple of hours just because we needed to stretch. My yeah. husband loves to drive, but he tends to get a little stiff driving for any extended period of time. So we stopped generally every two hours. Yes. Yeah. So, which is nice. So we can get out and stretch. But I wear, I wear comfy traveling clothes like leggings. Yeah, and big baggy tops, and then I'm more than comfortable, and I can <laughs> sit for hours. And yeah, yeah, but yeah. So that's and so, so socks. So I'll be wearing mm. these now that the weather has changed. So that is my yes. my fo. I'm very yes. happy that I got these done at long last. Yes, I feel like the world's slowest knitter. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I she just knits. Well, you've also been doing a bit of editing. Yeah, so I know. You've been doing but I keep, some, I keep some thinking of every, job. a lot of you know other people have paid work. And I know. They seem I know. To be able to knit like crazy, but yeah, yeah not me. <laughs> well, they always say, give, uh, give, uh, if you want something done, give, give it, to it to a, a busy, busy person. person. Yeah. So, and you're busy, but not busy enough. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's, I'm not that's super me. busy. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyway. And you have a hoe. I have a hoe. So I got one of, I got my one sock done. So yes. the last time I left my progress keeper on it because that's where I was the last time I showed this. Mm -hmm. And then I have, I have finished. So it I. It looks fabulous. Yeah. I'm just so happy with it. Oh. So. Have you tried it on? Yes. It's great. Yes. So this, I didn't actually use a pattern until I got down to, to the heel, the here, because, um, 
because I, I like this um, heel flap and gusset. So what I did was I... Did be, you use because I, legals? No, what I did was I just... Because I really liked the heel on this. Oh, and it's the same. You and just, it's the same. So the I, I just did... I, I knew what I liked. And so I did... I cast all my 56 stitches. I used a 2.25. And then I just knit for as long as I wanted it to be. Mm -hmm. Switched to the heel flap and gusset from the Rose City Roller pattern. Then I just continued on for as long as, you know, you can try it on. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, I'm done. And then I did my uh, toe mm -hmm. using the same toe um, from the Rose City Roller. So I essentially just kind of knit it without yeah. even looking at um, looks great. a pattern it until looks I really, needed really the good. little details about this. Cause I I'm not really as, like that. So this, I love that yarn. I know, I me too. It's just so, so this gorgeous. is my third pair of socks, this one. Like, no, no, actually it's my fourth. Your fourth. Wow. Yeah, because I forgot awesome. I did the uh, smooth operator. You did a smooth yeah. operator and you've done a Hermione. And I've done a, the so first one's a Hermione. And then these half socks, then the little so half that's socks. three. Yeah, so this and is my this four. Is four. So and this is she where I am. is on a whip now. She's yes. got her second one started. Yeah. So um, awesome. I'm, it's going along really well. I'm, I'm going to try and work on this a little bit on, tonight at knit night. Yes. Well, that's the one thing. That's the one great thing about always having a pair of vanilla socks on yes. the needles because you can just sit there. You just keep knitting, 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 yeah. knitting. Like, so that's what I'm going to be working yeah. on. Yeah, I was originally going to do a Rhinebeck sweater, um, but I couldn't decide. And when I finally figured out that I was going to do the flyaway hoodie, I got the, um, which is the Hokey Locatelli flyaway hoodie, mm. um, which is really sweet. It looks great. And it's got, um, it's only got three uh, buttons, I think, which I thought were really sweet. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So I'll just do that a little lower. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Good. So yeah, it's got like a little bit of cabling across the top. A few buttons that's at the top and two pockets. I have never done pockets before. Ooh, that'll be so I anyway, to learn. I got the yarn uh, when we were at um, the KW, the KW, the Kitchener Waterloo. Mm -hmm. So I, I have, it, but I haven't even done a test swatch. So that might be the other thing I work on tonight because I mm -hmm. just really need to to test it and see. Do the where test I am. swatch. That's yeah. easy enough to do. Because it's nice you're... and easy, and yeah. I'll, I'll do. Um, I saw the grocery girls talking about this. Um, Jody and um, Tracy do where they use different size needles just to make sure that they're getting their gauge. And mm -hmm. it's funny because I've done that in the past where I'll switch halfway through to a different needle size just yes. to make sure because I know that I tend to knit loose. So um, I think I'm going to have to adjust my my yeah. gauge, uh, needle my needles size. just yeah. to get the right gauge. So. Yeah. So that's uh, on my list of things to do as well. Mm -hmm. So it might be um, my Rhinebeck sweater in that it, I take it with me to knit at <laughs> Rhinebeck, <laughs> not not to actually yeah. wear. I know, <laughs> but I, know. I have I'll have Rhinebeck socks. <laughs> yeah, yay! Hey, I know. Which one are you gonna wear? Your roasted your roller ones. Well, I, I I'm yeah. gonna have all of them with me. So yes. yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm hoping to get the, the yes. purple, the vanilla ones I'm working on yes. right now. I really want to get them done. I, that's all I, you I can just work love on those. right now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to find a pair, and she's like, oh. she says, "You've already got something done." Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, I want to. I want Rhinebeck socks." And so she started. So I'm starting my own. <laughs> I don't have the label with me, but I will find it. Um, this is the yarn that I'm using. Which so is pretty. gorgeous, and I've started it. It's and it's so got pretty. see, it's got the dark, the dark green yes, in there, it's and it's got lights. like flecks of uh, a sort of a deeper blue. Yeah, it's a real very. It's almost like a minty. I was going to say it's very green, minty. Yeah, and then it's got little bits of blue, dark green, and bluer dark, in darker there blue. too. Like yeah. when you see, it's got like the bit of the blue yes. in there, and different shades of dark green. Yeah. So that is, uh, that's what I'm doing and that's I'm what sure I've got that's... started. This one here, I've got the first eight rows of the pattern repeated. This is, I'll tell you what the sock is in a minute. So that's the front, that's the, front the front pattern. Front of the leg. Yeah. And there's then the back of the leg. That'll go up the back. This, the pattern is... Um, I was, saw this and I fell in love with yes, it. Yes, this is designed by Sarah Stevens 
of the Graceland Wool podcast, and she also sells yarn. Mm -hmm. She designed these. These are the front is like the Hermione Granger sock, and then the back she's put this lovely lacy, almost sort of cabling, cabling up the back. Yes, the back. it's really really pretty. I I love it too. I just mm -hmm. think it's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So. It, anyway, it's just yeah, and that yarn really shows it off beautifully. So yeah. there, there's a, a beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. I know. It's so, so nice. nice. I can't wait to. I'll find some yarn yes. and do do the, a pair because I just fell in love with it. Yeah. So she and she has a podcast as well. I think it's Graceland, Graceland Wool or or okay. Hello Grace. Okay. Hello Grace, I think is the name of her podcast. Okay. Oh, we'll put it in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, I'm going to try to get Rhinebeck socks made. If yeah. not, I have other knit pairs of socks, socks that I have made. You already have wear. them. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. So, so that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we don't really have. So that's all we have as far as work, uh, that we've been doing, but mm -hmm. I know you went shopping when you were down. Yes. In I was shop. Oh, I wanted to show one more thing that I finished. <gasps> oh. Oh my gosh they're so cute this is the this is the flax light sweater i know i've shown it but there i put the buttons on i got these buttons from ginger snap that she sent them with me with it, the, oh, yes. the bags that we ordered yeah so there's that i added those two buttons so and cute. there's the hat and i added a little button onto the hat oh just because so and so this one adorable. I held the I held the, the yarn double because it's um, a DK. A, a, well, oh a sport weight, a sport weight I yeah. think, or a sport weight or even worsted weight. But anyways, yeah. it'll fit her head. Yeah. So, but yeah. So now she's got her sweater and a hat to wear. Oh my gosh, just too cute. So I have to give her that this weekend. Mm -hmm. So I'll be giving her that. And then yes, I did go shopping. Yes, so Sheila did post a photo of, uh, of her, her stash. Her stash uh, her but shopping. one of the things, I know Margaret likes scarves. I went into this store and they had these. And so I thought I had to get this. This is for you. Oh my gosh, and I the proceeds you. of the sale of that scarf go towards breast cancer oh, research. Oh, that's so nice. And I thought it was just such a beautiful scarf. Oh, it is. It's so scarf. pretty. Look at that. So I got you that. Oh, it's so pretty. I know. I it's, I the, this is it. It's absolutely huge. And, and oh, that's so nice! And I the just proceeds love it. go and it's go a towards breast drape. cancer research. Yeah. Oh, that is really nice. Yes. Yeah. This is definitely something that I would wear. I know. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. So that's I, what I even got. before I knit scarves, yes. I or uh, shawl type things. Yeah. I always love scarves. Always yeah. have tons of them. <laughs> so I went to. You can see this is the bag you get when you when you buy your yarn loops. So cool. In uh, it's, yeah. it's in Tulsa, and yeah, there it is. You can shop online, Loops Tulsa. Yeah. So that's where I went. So, got some fun things. I figure maybe we'll wear them uh, in uh, in um, Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. These are the tattoos, the little stick-on water tattoos. I just thought that they were fun. <laughs> I thought they would be fun. I think they even got a crochet hook you can stick on your arm. <laughs> so I thought that would be fun. Yeah. And then I got you yours. Oh, what is this? The Knitter Pride um, blockers. Oh, the blockers. Yes. Oh my gosh. I have wanted these for the longest I time. I Oh, that's amazing. And we don't really buy a lot of stuff online. No. So I didn't want to buy them online. I wanted to actually feel, and every yeah. time we went to places, nobody had them. And a lot yeah. of them, well, we have to order them in, keep them in the store. So it's um, got 12 blockers with eight pins yes. and eight blockers with four pins. Yes. So and I use awesome. them when blocking this. Oh, okay. You... With my blocking wires I got at the KW. I ran the yeah. block. I needed two, one yeah. on like two on each side. I needed four yeah. of the wires. And then it was just easier to hold the wire. You just blocked them with the wire and held that out and that the oh love them. That's Loved great. Them. Oh, I'm were, so excited. They were amazing to work with. They really, really were. I oh, found okay. that they helped a lot. A That's lot. Excellent. Yeah. So That's great. They had a really nice 50% off 
bin, oh, like huge bin. That's dangerous. I know, I know. I just quickly went through and when something caught my eye, I checked it out. I looked through it and I went, okay, that'll be fine. Because I thought if I, I could you spend, could and I only had, my husband was in the car, so I only had a limited amount of time because we dropped his mom and aunt off at Target. You guys shop there. We're going over here. We'll come pick you up at a certain time. Yeah. So needless to say, we ran over the time. My husband wasn't too happy. I'm leaving his mother. I thought they're fine. Anyways, this is the uh, Aracania, the oh, nice. Huasco Worsted Weight, and they had it half price. So I got four oh, wow. skeins because I could make a nice little dress yeah. for my granddaughter, or I could make another sweater for my grandson, or probably mm -hmm. both. Yes, so yes. So that's why I got that. That's excellent. I really, really like that. Then they have their own wall of hedgehog. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Zephyr. Zephyr. Oh, that's beautiful. I know. I absolutely like, look at that orange. Is it not showing me? There we go. There you go. Oh yes, my gosh. It's looking a little blown out there, but oh my God. I oh, saw that wow. and I thought, ooh, I have to get that. That is stunning. Um, so, and that is, I did get the sock in case I decided I wanted to make <laughs> socks. So I got a bunch of minis too. Oh, nice. <laughs> So, because I thought any of these, the oh, yellow, I could use yeah. the yellow as the contrast. I could use the, the or orange oh as my the gosh, contrast. That orange. I could use the black as the contrast. The red, uh, you pro I probably could still get away with the red. You probably could. And even, even the mauve. That orange, though. Oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, wow. Isn't that wonderful? So, yeah. So, that that's my combination haul. is I know. amazing. And then she threw in a, uh, a loops... Measuring. Oh, you can never go have enough. No, nose. and a nail file because you always have to make sure your nails, nails don't have are, patches yeah. when you don't uh, when you're working with that. So, yeah. the this one is called Pucker. It's sort of it's got pink, it's got pink and in or, it. It's pink, you know, got pink and orange. See? Pink and orange. Well, you can see. Yes, slightly, I've got pink yes. and orange in my my sweater. Uh, to me, that's like an amazing combination. Yeah. This one's called Hush. This light, oh, that's nice. light Very mauve. kind of a mauve lilac color. This one is called Merlot. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Kind of like that one. Yeah. <laughs> this one is graphite. So it's a oh, really dark. It's okay. not quite black. It's a gray. Yeah. It's a really pencil dark lead. gray. Yeah, yeah, pencil lead. Graphite. Yeah. And the yellow is called egg yuck. Yuck. <laughs> egg yuck. No, it's, it's, I'm sure it's just Meaning her, yuck. Her, Oh, yeah. No, okay. it says you, yuck. Yeah, okay. I thought maybe it was your yeah. L. Might no, have no, funny, no. But, but it's definitely an egg yolk color. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, that's what I got down there. So, and we always want, um, with the minis, the nice, some nice solid minis. So, yes, that was the reason that I got this more solid. They have tons of the speckles in the minis as well. Uh, but I really wanted solids because I'm finding I'm having, I have a lot of speckled yarn, but I don't mm -hmm. have enough solid yarns to, to use, use for, for contrast. contrast and and it's so nice I to really went for pick that. up something and just make, well, see, even like my Rose City Roller and my Smooth Operator socks, the, mm -hmm. the different looks with the different color, color of yarn, of oh, the contrast yeah. yarn is just, it's so fun. It's mm -hmm. like, even though they are physically different. Yes. types of socks it they're like really different socks because yes they of it. are I, I they are it. it totally makes the yeah. whole thing yeah it totally makes the whole thing so yeah so one of the things um we're going to be wearing down in Rhinebeck so we can stand out a little bit well at least Sheila and I are definitely going to yes do this is something like that there so yeah because <laughs> we want to be able to, we hear that it's very crowded. Yes. Uh, and that people need, to, like, who are together, try and do yes, something. Yes, trying to find each other and things so like that. So they can pick each other out in the crowd. Yeah, so, this so is, uh, these are the little little hats that I got for our group to sort of wear. If they want to wear them, they can. If yeah. they don't want to, they don't have to. So, but there, I'll be wearing one of these. Yeah. So, <laughs> if you see us, come say hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say i saw your hat yeah yeah so yeah, yeah. we'll probably both be wearing them and, yes yeah uh, and i'll have a little thing to uh, i have one little thing that we're going to be giving away to people when they come okay. up and say hi to us <laughs> so 
Okay. <laughs> yes, a nice little sweet treat. Okay. Yep. That so way. that's we will have those hats on. Um, one of the other things we also wanted to um, talk about today is we're going to do a knit along. Yes. We've and been talking about it for a while, while but it's, and, and, we're trying yeah. to come up with something that's so, a little bit different. Or, But there's so many knit-alongs and mm -hmm. mystery knit-alongs. Oh, by the way, the latest um, mystery cowl from Stephen West. Oh, the Speckle, Speckle and Pop. Speckle and Pop. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. I saw the... Someone's... So, well, I, done. I saw his... Uh, I don't know if it was in his... His Ravelry group, or, or there was something I saw, mm -hmm. and the photo of him with the like the powder yes. that had been splashed on his face. Yes, and, you know he's very dramatic looking. Yes, and and I just thought, okay, just that alone makes me want to do that. Yeah, that mystery. I'm I'm really nervous about doing mystery cows. Yeah, but I, just I like thought, to see I the thought, pattern because sometimes you just you know you're just not yeah. really sure. Yeah, because yeah, I but anyway, it. he uh, I. And then I started seeing a few people um, posting their first clue that they yes. had got, were mm -hmm. working on. Mm -hmm. And I thought, oh, I really, really like that. Yeah. Then I got, actually I got an email from uh, my girlfriend who said that she's decided she's going to do this Stephen oh, West mystery wonderful. cow. And she sent me a photo of, of her, her choices. Yarns. And it's going to be, they're very much her. So oh, I can't wonderful. wait to see what what Ooh, it works out exciting, as exciting so, yeah exciting. so i go in and check every now and then but yeah we'll i'm have too to nervous see. when about... nancy comes over we'll have to see yeah because she's doing she's, it she does it she's done a few she's of his, done i think two of his yeah mystery yeah yes so she really enjoyed it. a lot of people enjoy them i'm so, i'm apprehensive i'm about apprehensive doing... about mm. oh, well i hate my color choices when i'm you know, yeah, I know. Going through I, know. I know i know i know i know how things are yes, gonna go exactly so. exactly so yeah i know but anyway, we've been, it's, it's hard finding ideas that everyone else isn't doing. Yes. Um, so we thought we would do one. Sheila came up with yes. an idea. I said, well, Christmas is coming. So, um, and we all, all, many of us work on more than one project at a time. <laughs> uh, so I think we should, I think we're going to do a finish that whip knit along. Yeah. I think that would be good. And the prize is going to be, since it is just before Christmas. So it's going to end, end uh, the first week of December. We yeah. haven't looked at, at the, the date, the date the calendar yet. In that, but so we'll, uh, we will post that at yeah. some point in time. Um, but this is what look. the winner is going to get, is the Cozy Knitter Gingerbread. Yes. So that's why we want to finish. So yes. December 1st is a Friday. Yes. So we could on and, the Monday. Yeah. We could finish uh yeah, on the on the Monday. Okay. So because December that gives 4th. people the way that gives people the, the weekend, weekend to make sure that they ha that extra weekend. Yes. So that they can so but yes, this is what they will win. They will win the cozy knitter um gingerbread house. Gingerbread house yarn and also a nice little snowflake. Snowflake. Um, progress, progress keeper. keeper and that's from my needle crafts yes who's yeah. also Canadian yes so we just thought that we would uh, put that up mm -hmm. hopefully that encourages people this is not her sparkle base it's just her this is her uh, bliss base. base so it's it's 80% superwash merino 20% nylon mm -hmm. so you get so, um, what is it? I'm looking at this 85 gram striping and 30 gram mini to go with it to go so that's yeah. what you get that's what the prize number for the that's what the prize will be yes so so December 4th and yes. the rule is you should have if if you've uh, you know if you just need to finish a sock or something we'd like a little bit more than that yes um, so we'd yeah, like do you more to do than 50 grams yeah do more than yeah. 50 grams um, yeah not just gonna finish a cuff of, of a sleeve or something like no, that. No, no. So um, show us your before and after photos. Yes. We'll set up a page on our Ravelry group yes. if you want to join us there. Mm -hmm. um, we'd really love to take a look at it and see what you have and then we will just draw from um, the entries in Ravelry. Yes. Like I said, um, we'd love to see the before and after 
Uh, you can get started anytime. Um, Sheila has a lot of whips I've on got the go. Lots, so I can. I <laughs> actually, my only whip is my my sock. I said <laughs> so... I said I can give her some. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but I do want to get started on that hoodie. So I'm, but you yes. know, I'm not eligible. Although I would yes. love to get yes. that prize. I'm not eligible. She to get has it an anyway. update. I think it's tomorrow night at seven o'clock. Oh, okay. Yes, on the. 13th Friday mm -hmm. the 13th Friday. yeah I know Tomorrow's at 7 o'clock at night Eastern Standard Time yeah so she's been doing her Christmas stuff so she's if got a you lot. think you want to try and get get it without having uh, yeah. to finish a whip that would be a good idea yes um yeah so that's what mm -hmm. we're gonna do for now yeah and um I think that's everything. I think that is everything too. Yes. I'm just going to take a quick little look. Yeah. That, yeah. Because yeah, pretty much that's all I've been up to as well. And yeah. you've been up to like was I was away. That was pretty much it. That was like took basically a week mm -hmm. because we drove down two days to drive down a few days there yeah. and then we left yeah. literally the Sunday morning after the wedding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. So yeah, we're crazy. <laughs> but so. I think that's everything for now. Yes. So thank you very much for stopping by mm -hmm. and joining us to talk about our projects and yarn and what, yes. we're, what we're up to. Um, if it's your first time, uh, we hope you found something enjoyable and that you'd like to subscribe to us. Um, and if you've uh, joined us in the past, thank you so much for coming back again. Yes. We will be working, uh, we'll be doing another podcast in two weeks. So yes. it should be our post Rhinebeck podcast yes Woo yeah yes oh and don't forget like leave if you're if you're gonna be new to the Ravelry group leave a comment say like tell us a little bit about yourself yes. it's so nice reading everybody's little hi yeah sort of yeah their own we little go in and mini see, story see the little we have an introduce yourself uh, page yes so we do we do go in and and read every one of those so. yes yep do stop by yes so thank you very much and we'll see you in two weeks yes